But uh, HPE did make a slightly better announcement recently. They've released their quarterly results this week. Uh, results were mostly in line with expectations, although there was a miss uh, on their previous guidance. Uh, the big news here, I think, is that HPE Aruba networking rose to become the second biggest division of HPE by revenue, sliding past storage for the first time. Uh, given the focus of the deepening of the relationship between the two uh, during Aruba Atmosphere last month and the announcements coming during HPE Discover in June, uh, Tom, what do you think that this means for the future of HPE? I think it means that the the talk that we heard during the Aruba Atmosphere keynote where HP Aruba networking is kind of growing past their their visibility as a wireless company, but also growing into becoming a, an integral part of what HP Aruba, I'm sorry, what HP is doing is a very critical thing. I mean, when you think of HPE, what do you think of? Compute and storage, right? And to be fair, if you look at the breakdown in the graph that's in the show notes, Compute is still, by and large, the biggest part of what they do. But when you think about a world where a lot of things are more focused on hybrid cloud, public cloud, the areas where you would typically make those investments in infrastructure aren't there anymore. Like, do you, you have to legitimately ask yourself a question. Do I want to buy new servers or do I want to rent them from the cloud? And that's a hard question to ask, right? But when you move to the other side of the coin, well, connectivity is still king, right? Do I need to have edge connectivity, whether it's wireless for my users or SD-WAN slash SASE slash SSE uh, for my remote offices to be able to get online to access those resources. When I think about you know being able to put in challenging RF environments with things like private LTE and private 5G, which you know HP Aruba just announced their acquisition of Athenet, like, what is happening inside of HP Aruba networking is going to become a huge piece of what eventually HP becomes. And I mean, when you look at the storage revenues, yeah, they were down. Some of the individual parts of storage were up, like the individual products themselves. But I think that overall, what you're seeing is the the industry recognizing that the connectivity pieces are going to become very important. And that while compute is... A, an important resource, whether you're selling it to uh, companies that require on-prem solutions or selling it directly to people in the cloud, you're going to have to have a way to access that. And so that's going to continue to build on that strategy going forward. I firmly expect that we're going to see some big announcements around you know, HP Discover. Uh, there's talk of AI stuff. Um, it looks like, you know, a lot of other companies are trying to kind of partner with, you know, NVIDIA and, and other organizations to kind of add to the AI mix. And we'll actually talk about one of those in just a minute. But I think that ultimately what you're going to end up seeing is that networking is going to be that silent moneymaker for people that as companies are looking, oh, well, you know, how much bandwidth are we going to have to push in order to consume these resources? How much does it require for cloud uh, AI generation? oh, wow, um, we need to upgrade our infrastructure. And that's where you're going to start seeing companies like Aruba and, and a lot of other ones starting to make a lot of money. 